Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Hey, what we're doing today, guys, is we're doing a buy bust. We're uh, first going to start out with some page ups. I think we have three of them. This is our UCs. Y'all get a good look at them. Make sure uh, when you're doing your takedowns, uh, try to spare them any harm. Appreciate y'all being here. Biggest thing, guys, is let's be safe. Get everybody uh, we can, but be safe doing it. Uh, two days ago, we delivered uh, six dollars worth of crack cocaine. Just okay. going to call them again and order up a yard. They've uh, made some deals in the past with uh, an individual over here. They've uh, called him up, and he's uh, there waiting for um, them to arrive. Now they're going to do the deal. They'll give us the takedown signal, and uh, we'll take the uh, individual into custody. Okay, ready? Okay, guys. It, it looks like uh, the target's pulled up in a white Pontiac instead of the blue Buick. He's uh, pulling up next to the detective's car now. It uh, looks like uh, Detective Morgan's out doing the deal. Car's right to the right of her. OK, she's got it. There's the apprehension word. Let's get him. Let me see your hand. Driver, show your hand. Driver, show your hand. Get down. He's eating stuff. He's eating it. He's eating it. He's eating it. Get him over the back. Get it out. Turn it out. You need a little taste of OC? Spray him. Spray him. Here. Give me the other hand. Oh, look at here. Yeah. That's Linda's money, I think. It's marijuana. It's powder. What else you got in here? He tell you he was coming for a cell duck? You see it? How much, oh. did, how much did he have? I don't know what he had, sir. Like I said, he came to pick me up, and he said, I'm going to go over here to ran the court real quick. You know what you're being arrested for? Yes, you just sold drugs to the police. How much, how much of it did you ingest? You got some on the sub? I didn't even huh? know what to you, you tried to swallow drugs on it. We, we took some out of your mouth. How much did you get down? That, that, that's that's going to be a real health, health concern for you. I'm saying, you see, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. I mean, you sold drugs, we recovered drugs, and we recovered some out of your mouth. How much did stick out your tongue? Well, when he pulled up, he handed me this piece. I started to hand him $100, and I said, come on. I said, that's not enough. Then he handed me, then he handed me this, the next piece, so I went ahead and I was still arguing with him that wasn't enough for $100, so I still went, made the exchange. By then, I already took the takedown. You see, he's uh, already uh, coughing up evidence, so to speak. Y'all did a good job. Good job on the takedown. Let's go get another one. Hey, if you get there before me, make sure you call. Hey, blue truck. OK. All right, what you going to be? A red aluminum. All right, bye. Red aluminum. A red aluminum. He's pulling on the first block uh, to the right. The guy pulled up, and uh, he wants to do the deal about a block away. We're going to try to uh, readjust ah, our takedown cars. and. Uh, OK, they're in the middle of the deal right now. Look at it, baby. That's the I'm best stuff you can get. You got any more pieces? Yeah, you just more. brought what you wanted, you know what I'm saying? Stay in the car. Stay there. Passenger side. I got him. I got him. Cover. Yeah, looks like got him in custody. What happened? Well, when we come at, came around the corner, he was outside of the car doing the uh, the deal. He saw us come in and uh, he jumped to get in his car. He went to leave. I wanted to try to block him, and he hit my car. And then uh, he put it in reverse, and uh, we bumped him again. Right. Have you ever done this before? Yes, no. First time. Yes, How would you know them? How'd you know the detectives you sold to? Just got the phone now. Hey, how come you ran, man? 
just nervous, man. Nervous? You know it's the police? You knew you screwed up? Well, he, he, what, what were you thinking? Just trying to make some quick money for my baby. Trying to make some quick money for your baby? Today you sold to uh, some undercover detectives. And uh, you'll be spending some time in jail. All right. Hey, hey, let me, all right, all right, all right, hey, check it out. When you leave work, how long is it going to take you to get home and then and then get your pool stick and meet me? Detective Morgan just made another call. We don't know who this guy is. We don't know what kind of car he's coming in. She don't know who, oh, she got the uh, number from a prostitute. So right now, uh, you know, we don't have a clue. But um, we'll make it work like all these other by bus. You ready to go? Yep, yes, sir. All right, y'all head out. All right. Okay, we're headed up uh, Beach Boulevard. We got our UCs talking to some bad guys in the parking lot of a liquor store right up here, right up ahead of us. And uh, they're talking to them right now, doing the deal. All right, guys, move in. Move in on them. Jack. Bravo, too many fives. Three got one running now. Oh, Lord. Oh, back off him. Oh. Back off. You are, you are. Don't back off. Cuff him up. Hey, we want a company? Yeah, we got him. You want to stand him up? Yeah, roll over. Let's see your hand. Let's see your hand. All right? Yeah. Let me have Sergeant White. What, what's going on tonight? Why are you running? Do you know you just sold to two undercover detectives? But listen, uh, I guess you're mute. But you're going to jail tonight for selling crack cocaine to the police. You messed up. Could have got yourself killed out here running like that. About ran into our car. He was actually honest. You know, I, I had this is what he sold me, and I said, this is for 100 for you know yard. He said, nah, you good people, I'll sell it to you for 80. I said, all right. So I fell in with the money, gave it, and uh, started giving the takedown. And that's when he saw somebody. And uh, he runs and he starts shedding some clothes. <laughs> hey guys, we're gonna wrap it up tonight. Uh, Y'all did a good job. We got three cars, got four heads. Uh, you know, they're all players. So, uh, it, you know, it's been a good night for a couple hours worth of work. I work uh, in the Passaic County Sheriff's Department, which is about 30 minutes away from the city. It's uh, New York City, that is. It's about, uh, it's in northern part of New Jersey. Uh, Sheriff's Department takes care of the uh, courthouses, the jail complexes, and we have a, a patrol division, which I'm assigned to. And uh, currently, we're in the, uh, close to the Alexander Hamilton uh, Housing Projects. It's a uh, well-known drug distribution center. Uh, a lot of drugs come out of here, so we'll be in the area for a little bit. Stop any suspicious vehicles uh, that we see here. If there's anything that comes out or around that sticks out, uh, I'll be stopping on the Maryland Ave extension. I'll be stopping his vehicle. He failed to uh, stop at the stop sign at East 35th and 22nd Avenue. At the Garfield, Check him out. Uh -huh. Let's see. Uh -huh. All right. Huh? I can't hear you, bud. Excuse you? Excuse you? Excuse you for what? No, no, I thought you, I thought you were yelling something to me when you were getting out the car. Huh. I'm just coming back. Uh, step out. Huh. Come here, bud. I don't want to get crushed by the uh, trees here, you know what I mean? No. Stand there for me. Turn around, look at me. Relax. I don't have my wallet on me, sir. Huh. Right, you got anything in your pockets you're supposed to have? No. no so I'm going to let you know right now. I have absolutely. Listen, listen, listen. listen. 
four black males that ran up to your car, we got that already. So whatever you have for me, listen to me. Turn around, look at me. Whatever you have, whatever you have, just put it right there next to your phone, all right? What's your first name again? Corwin, sir. Corwin? Yes. All right. Listen to me. What do you have? You don't have anything? I do have stuff on me, Okay, sir. what do you have? I bought a bag of crack. One bag? No, two bags. Two bags of crack? All right. Yes. All right, no problem. Just have a seat there for me, all right, bud? Hey, two different color baggies, too, huh? Where are you from? Garfield? How long have you been smoking crack for? Um... On and off. Um... I have no clue, sir. Two years, three years? Um... Well, just recently, I've been going through a lot of aggravation with my girlfriend. Uh -huh. And I just got out of rehab recently. Okay. Okay. Like, these past two weeks, she's been hounding me and disturbing me about all things. And she kind of caught on my habits a little bit. I just got out of rehab. I just had a son a year ago. And that's a way to I start have, off the year, I right? I have a, a, very, a very crappy job, you know. But I'm the only one working. She's always hounding me for money and all sorts of stuff. How do you smoke? You have a crack pipe? No. How do you smoke it? Well, out of a can. Out of what? A can. A can? That's the first one. I've seen people put ashes on the can and... Bro, you can't be doing this high on crack. I, I had a bad accident today at work. Like I said, my girl's been driving me to sir. Yeah, but this ain't no, you know, know, this ain't no reason to smoke crack. I know, I know. I know that. You know what I, I mean? I, I just felt like I had, like, uh, I just had, like, an urge. I wasn't thinking straight today after today. I haven't been drinking, thinking straight all of this week, so, sir. All right, listen. With everything that's been going on. You're just going to get charged with possession on a summons, all right? Am I going to have to go to court for that? Yeah, you got to go to yeah. court, of course. I'm not going to lie to you, all right? Am I going to lose seeing my son for that? No. Well, you gotta straighten up, bro. You went to rehab once. What are you doing? How old's your son? Uh, 13 months. 13 months, a year old, bro. You gotta think of this stuff. Come on. How old are you? 29. 29? You should know better, bro. I know. You should know a lot better than that. Come on. I, I, I kick myself in the ass. I do. You really should know better. What, you're gonna take me with you? Yeah. You're gonna get released from headquarters. Okay? All right. Simple possession. Hey, bud, we can't just dump bags and say, hey, have a nice day. Hopefully you'll learn something from this. We have kids also, you know? All right? All right? No, you're not. No, you're not. All right, we're gonna park this car for you. When my girlfriend finds out, I'm gonna end up getting kicked out of my house. You're gonna tell her? I'm gonna have no choice, but you're gonna have no choice but to tell him. Come here. Just put your hands in your back, all right? You got nothing else on you, right? Nothing. No sharp objects, nothing on you? All right? All right. All right. All right, like the corporal explained to you, it's a simple charge. Let's go with it. We're gonna park your car for you, okay? Let's go. Step in my car. Lighter? Keep this lighter with a cigarette. There you go. All right, I'm gonna be taking him in, two bags of crack. Okay. I'm gonna write him on a, a summons, and also he's gonna be charged with uh, CDS in a motor vehicle. All right, very good. All right, I parked Where's his he vehicle. From? He's from Garfield. Okay. So, right. what are we gonna do? Very good. All right? Very good. All right, thanks so much. My kids, they don't seem to worry about me. I'm sure that they do, but I don't, I don't think they understand at this point how dangerous this job is. My daughter actually has me write a little journal of, of interesting calls I get. They go to school until the other kids at school. She adds stuff to it, of course. Um, just the other day, she wrote, she wrote a, I had a story about a guy that had shot a snake, and I told her that. She thought that was the coolest thing, and 
she wrote a long story about it. And my son, he wants to be a police officer, he says. Word route to a call where a uh, the complainant called the police to advise that her 15-year-old daughter has beat her up. Um, the operator that took the call, the 911 operator, said that it was a violent background. I heard a male in the background trying to detain the, the juvenile, so apparently she, the, she's trying to leave the scene and we're arriving on the scene right now, the area, see what's going on. Y'all call the police? What can I do for you? She told me she was going to a birthday party. Mm -hmm. And uh, next thing you know, her boyfriend's calling here, the one I told you about. Hi. Yes, ma'am. And next thing you know, I'm like, oh, so you're going to this birthday party to meet Dan? Oh, no, whatever, whatever. So I'm like, OK, I go in the house, finish eating, come out. I said, who are you talking to? She said, none of your business, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just going to tell you everything she said. None of your business. So I take the phone away from her, and he was standing right there because he followed me out here, and she started pulling my hair. Pushing so and that, kicking. Yeah, pushing and kicking. Did she kick you? Yes, I got scratch marks yeah, there. I got right marks here. there. She tried to bite me yeah, right she there. She pulled the hair out of my head. I got I a bruise by my leg. Down. Probably out of self-defense. I swear to God. Did you see what happened, sir? Yes, I did. Okay, if you can step over here, let me yep. talk to you a second. I swear to God. Can you tell what happened over here? They were standing right there. She mm -hmm. told her, give her the phone. Mm -hmm. And she wouldn't give her the phone. So she grabbed the phone. That's all she did. Mm -hmm. And she was calling her bitch, slut, mm -hmm. whore, and everything. All right. Pulling her hair, kicking her. All right. Yeah. OK. Did she hit her back or? No, she no. didn't. And then uh, they went in the bedroom, and she was just holding her down. She was pulling her hair and everything. OK. Cole OK. Was pulling her and who hair. are you to her? Uh, well, I'm like stepdad. You're the stepdad. You live here in the, in the family, in the yeah. household? Okay, I appreciate it. And you're, where are you injured at, ma'am? I got scratch marks there. I got okay. marks there. I got where she tried to bite. Well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. She tried to bite me. Okay. I got, well, you can't see it, but there's a bruise right there. Okay. And she's sitting there calling me a bitch, slut, tramp, whore, you name it. And all I did was hold her down. Okay. I'm like, who are you talking to okay. your mother like this? Okay. Um, Not 10, 15. Came and got me. Yeah. At, Let me see where I was at. Let me see your cuffs. Turn around for me. I promise I didn't. Turn around for me. Oh Turn around for me. I promise I didn't hit you first. I promise I didn't hit you first. Mom, I didn't hit you first. You both hold my hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever been arrested? No. <laughs> Why are you lying on me? <laughs> Mom, you pulled my hair. Hey, we're not going to argue right here, okay? I promise I didn't pull her hair. Where's your own um, double lock? There it is. I promise, I swear to God and everything I love. And I have a witness because I was on the phone when she did it. I don't know how to work your cuss. Come in, you're under arrest for battery domestic violence, okay? I didn't hit her. Need you to have a seat in the car? Here, there's the pull. We don't need that. We don't need that. I need you to tell me what happened here tonight. When she came outside, she had like kind of an attitude with me, and I was on the phone with my friend Anthony. She's like, get off the phone, whatever, and she pulled my hair. I did not pull her hair first, because I know she would call the cops on me. OK. And that's the hair that she pulled out of my head, and I started walking up to the house. She said, you need to get inside. She started pushing me, and she pushed me hard right into bed. OK. And we got in the house or whatever, and she started cussing at me. And you know, I was mad. I cussed at her back. She got me on my bed, and laid, you know, had her hands on me, wouldn't let me up. Well, man, for right now, the witness is giving the same story as your mother, who is the victim, okay? She has several scratches and, and bite marks on her arm, okay? So I that, 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 okay, that justifies um, battery domestic violence, and you're being arrested at this point for that, okay? And you know what else? She has the right to spank you. You're a child, she okay? Is. She has a right to push you inside the house, and she has a right to grab a hold of you and take you and hold you down, okay? As long as she don't go too far, okay? But she has she has a right to spank you. The only reason she just has because you're 15 years old. The only reason she has marks on your on her is because you were being disrespectful to her 
and you put your hands on it, okay? All right, Nicole, just hang tight, okay? You just ride with me down, okay? All right, I'll help you out. A lot of times in this situation, you, you'll wake up tomorrow morning and you'll feel bad for it and you'll, you'll want to drop charges or something like that. Oh, that no. that's, not, that's, not the, that's not the good thing to do because just by, by us arresting her, we're not, we're not trying to, to hurt her or, or have her put in jail. Oh. We're trying to get her help for you, okay? Believe we're trying to get not. her help for her problems and, and help you. Believe okay? me, I'm not going to feel any different in the morning. Okay. And I've, I've spoke to her, but I've tried to get her help before, and there's nothing I can do right. because she's asked me, you know, have you ever, has she ever been in trouble? See, that's the problem. She's never been in trouble. Right. Well, this is a good thing. Now now she'll go in front of a judge. A judge will see her see her face, and he, he'll be able to court order her into to programs. Okay? Well, that's what I'm hoping. Good luck, ma'am. Thank you very okay. much.